हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग एजुकेशनल कोड फोर्सेस राउंड 158 प्रॉब्लम ए लाइन ट्रिप ओके वॉज द वीडियो रीड द क्वेश्चन देन विल प्रोसीड कूल सो द क्वेश्चन इज द क्वेश्चन इज दैट देर इज अ रोड देर इज अ रोड विच कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन अ नंबर लाइन एंड वी आर लोकेटेड और यू आर लोकेटेड ऑन अ पॉइंट जीरो ऑन द नंबर लाइन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम द पॉइंट जीरो टू पॉइंट एक्स एंड back to point 0 okay so it's nothing but we have to travel from a point 0 or let's say if this is a number line if this is a number line and here it is 0 then we have to travel from 0 to x and in between in between 0 to x we will have n gas station n gas station so we'll have something like this here it is a1 a2 till uh, many a n gas station and this all will be between 0 and x now the question says and yes at each gas gas station we can fill our tank and to move one unit we need 1 liter of gasoline what does that mean that to go from 0 to 1 that is cover a distance of one unit we need 1 liter of gasoline or 1 liter of petrol you can say okay so we can fill our tank at any gas station now he the question says that what is the minimum possible volume of gas tank or what is the you know the size of gas tank should be required such that such that we can travel from this point 0 to this point x and come back come back okay so i hope the question would be clear i will repeat once again so the question says that we are at point 0 and we have to go to point x and we have to come to point 0 again so we have to go to x and come to point 0 and now in between we have n petrol pumps n petrol pumps okay and at each each petrol pump at each petrol pump we can fill our tank now the question want to know that what will be the minimum capacity of tank what will be the minimum capacity of the tank so that we can go from here till here and come back so how how we can proceed this question so you will realize one thing you will realize one thing and yeah there was one thing mentioned in the question that we need one unit of petrol to move one unit of distance sorry one liter of petrol to move one unit of distance right so so now see if we want to go from this 0 to a1 how many petrol we would require or how much liter of petrol we would require nothing but this a1 minus 0 right if we want to go to this point we will require this 0 to or a1 minus 0 so that what does that mean we can go if we have here this difference or a1 petrol here considering it's zero so a1 minus zero is nothing but a1 so if our tank if our tank had size a1 that means we can go from this zero to a1 and we can come from he come back from here now the same thing the same thing we can check for here can we cover this distance can we cover or what is the minimum distance or what is the minimum tank size required what is the minimum tank size required to go from a1 to a2 and that will be nothing It will be nothing but a2 minus a1. That will be a2 minus a1. Similarly, if let's say if we are at point here, then to go here, how much or what will the tank size will require? This value minus this value. So for any two points, for any two points, we know that if this is point A, this is point B, and to go from A to B, we can simply have our tank size at B minus A. Now, now here is the catch. There are so many points, right? Or there are so many petrol pumps. so what we'll have to take care of is like out of all these distances out of all these distances let's say it so out of all these distances we'll have to pick the maximum distance okay we'll have to pick the maximum distance why because we know that whatever the maximum distance we'll have to cover we can cover that many distance only if we have that much petrol that is if we have distances x or distance between them is y that means we need a tank or of size at least y liters then only we will be able to move from that point to that point why because we will fill this tank at let's say this point and this entire distance was y so that we will be reaching here and then we can also come back now there is one important point to note over here is that let's say let's say here this was zero and here it was the last petrol pump this is an and this was your point x now now till here till here what we are seeing we are just checking the distance between the last previous current petrol pump and the last petrol pump or for the first time you would have checked it with 
zero what is the distance but here what we'll have to do we have to start traveling from here go to here and come back here okay so what we have to do we start from this last petrol pump or fill our tank at the last petrol pump we'll go till x and we'll come back again so that means that means that means what we are doing for the last one for the last one the distance or the tank size would be required nothing but this twice of twice of the what will be the distance nothing but the x minus the position of the last petrol pump for rest others rest others what we can do we can simply calculate the distance and we can do not have to worry about coming back to the same petrol pump so i hope that would be clear because now the question will be very simple here it was zero and here it was x we will do nothing we will start from here we will go to next petrol pump and then again next petrol pump and then again next petrol pump and for the last petrol pump we'll come back again and we know that this distance this distance we have already taken into account so once we reached here that means we had enough petrol or enough tank size that we can go back right because then only we have reached this point so i hope the only only point to worth noting over here is this is the last one you might have missed so let's go to the solution if you'll see we are doing nothing but initializing that zero that let's say tank size zero is required we are checking the distance between the current petrol pump and the last petrol pump initially we are at zero and if you will see they are saying that initially we will have our tank re fully fueled so we can say that we can say that our last petrol pump was or the first very first petrol pump was at zero we kind of entered the location of the first petrol pump subtracted the and updated our answer and updated our the last petrol pump as well and finally the last petrol pump position will be stored in this p and we have the x so answer will be maximum of answer and twice of this distance we already discussed that distance will be nothing but this this distance okay so and yes we finally simply see out the answer i have submitted this solution and it's an essay solution but if you guys have any doubt on this question let me know in the comment section okay thank you